Test. I'm David and today we've got a new chapter going on in flight test. Um, we've got Josh over here and one of our new partners. This is Greg from Vans Aircraft. I'm going to turn it over to them so they can tell you what's going on. Friends, today is the first day of the beginning of our journey to build our first full-scale aircraft and that's all thanks to Vans RV and our good friend Greg Hughes here. Greg, what do we have right here? This is an RV-12 tail kit so it has all the parts to build the tail cone and the empennage, so the tail feathers. And that's all all in this box, plus a whole bunch of rivets. Oh my goodness. A lot of rivets. This is a fun journey because first of all, we've never worked with metal. We've never really worked with rivets. Greg's here to basically take away all those concerns, all those fears, and we're gonna be showing you how approachable, how easy this is. And if you guys remember me from years ago saying, if you can build a model, you can build a real airplane. And it's true. If you can build any of these ones that are hanging up here that you guys fly around on, on the videos all the time, this is, totally doable. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And the great people of Vans have did everything they can to make sure that experience is absolutely repeatable. And over the next course of probably a year, year and a half, we're not only going to be showing you how you can build your own aircraft, but also we're going to be all going through our own journey of either completing our flying lessons to get our privates or just starting and completing. Because at the end of the day, this airplane is going to be an airplane that the team and the community and everyone are going to be able to gather around. What's the first step? Well, we need to take this wood box apart and take the top off so we can get the parts out. And the first thing you do is an inventory to make sure all the parts are there. If anything's not, we'll let the team know back at the factory. Uh, and then we'll go from there. I love it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional. Great. We talked about what this is as far as the pieces. What are we building? So, well, the airplane is an RB12 IS, okay. which is a light sport airplane. Uh, a light sport airplane can be flown by a sport pilot. It's a great learning airplane, like a trainer type of airplane. A lot of fun to fly, real light on the controls. A very agile airplane. Um, I've got a lot of hours flying RB12. It's a fun airplane <laughs> to fly. So, well, you actually own the very first one built by students. Yeah, so we, I know you all, one of the things that is a great fit with us working together is you all do a lot of STEM stuff, right? And we also are involved in a lot of STEM programs. So we provide the airplanes to STEM programs at a pretty good discount actually, so that they can build them with, usually with high school student age, whether it's in a school or not. So yeah, there's a couple hundred airplanes and they've been built or out there being built RB12s by, by teenagers. So um, the first, the first program like that was called Teen Flight, and it was put together in Portland. And actually, the first one was built at the Vans factory. And that airplane, Airway Science for Kids, is a nonprofit in the Portland area that does aviation STEM programs for different ages. And the Teen Flight program is there for the older kids. And uh, so, Teen Flight One, the very first one built by teenagers like that, uh, I actually. I bought it not too long ago because they were going to keep one of the newer airplanes, and um, so that's yeah, that's mine. I'm hoping I don't know if it'll happen this year, but at some point in time, I'd like to fly it out for Flight Fest too and have it so people can see that it's, this is the first one that was built by teenagers. But y'all are going to build this as a group, and it's going to be amazing, and you're going to have fun. And uh, when you fly it, you're going to you're going to see what I mean. It's a lot of fun. To fly. <laughs> one of my favorite things about the RV-12 is this plane is pretty much all assembled by something called a pole rivet. That's what this guy is right here. And if you guys remember flight tests, you've seen a lot of these. This plane's assembled that way, which means it's super easy to do, approachable, and all the holes already line up. Yeah, and so airplane kits have evolved over time. So they started out, when, when airplane kits first started out, you had to cut your metal from drawings. So this is all punched using CNC punch presses, and they're all pre-punched. The holes are already in practically all of the parts, and they're final size, right? So they're pretty much just ready to deburr, you know, check and make sure that everything is ready to assemble. You don't have sharp edges on it, but once you've done that, you just start clamping the airplane together. You don't have to build a separate jig for it. It self jigs. Uh, everything lines up. It's like it's like you know CNC magic, really. And then, <laughs> And then you you start putting the rivets in and you start pulling the rivets and you assemble it that way. Well, speaking of teams, not only is this team gonna be building it, but this team's family, the community, and also some really great people like Background Bob, our dear friend John Ferry, we're pulling him in on this because he has his own RV that he did an amazing job with. 
This is gonna be a combined effort and our goal is to bridge the gap and hopefully people's minds that they can build model airplanes, but also what it looks like building as a family, building as friends and building as a community. We got pieces to unpack and we haven't even- We do. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we, we gotta get this inventory done and it takes a little while yeah. so that we can get started. Let's do it. I'm excited. Now what we are so excited about is we're not only going to be taking you through the journey with monthly videos showing you our progress with getting to build this awesome aircraft. We're also going to be taking you through the journey of getting our pilot's license. It's not just me, that's going to be myself, my good friend Lee, Dave Jester, Noah, and so many others. And the way we're going to be preparing for our pilot's license is going to be through Pilot Institute. As a matter of fact, once this airplane gets too big to build on that table right there, we're going to be moving the project to Pilot Institute hangar right here on Edgewater and completing the build. This is incredibly exciting for us because we want people to be able to follow this journey and be able to build along with us, but also see the amazing relational opportunities we have, work with friends, families, and communities. And along with that, preparing for our private pilot's license is something that you guys can do while going on this journey as well by using Pilot Institute. Uh, both Pilot Institute and Vans Aircraft have been incredible partners with Purpose. We are so grateful and blessed to have them. We want people to realize any aspect of flight that you dream to, you can do. And we want to show that, we want to live that, we want to be able to enjoy that with you. I think we should clean off that table and lay stuff on the table. It's not a bad idea. Just to keep it off. Don't touch that table unless you're working on this plane. And why was he looking at me the whole time? The Dave has spoken. <laughs> it wasn't like, it, like, it wasn't like nobody touches yeah. this table. It was like, Everybody. nobody touches this table. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> David has spoken. <laughs> you know, I'm not messing with him. <laughs> I'm touching the first piece. And the second piece. And the third piece. Holy cow. Which one do I pull out first? <laughs> They're kind of, there isn't a top one. There's a top and side. Alright, so once we find the inventory in the box, we'll be able to. Gotcha. We'll need to do these. That's our first goal is to find the package list. I don't know which one you need. So probably the inventory information is in there. Alright. You want to check that out. And then <clears throat> so this is the the tail, this is the plans. Gotcha. So the, it's a combination of drawings and instructions, and the, this this particular kit has step-by-step -step instructions, like step one through step 11,000. I don't know how many there are, but it, it's not quite that many, but there's a lot. <laughs> um, and you start with one, and you finish with the last one, and you go from zero to airplane. That's the way it works. So we'll take a look at those in a minute. Section five in here is something that we'll talk about today once we finish the inventory, but it's, it's kind of the the go-to reference for things you need to know when you're building the airplane. So, yeah, kind of the cheat sheet. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> no, cheating is if you don't use it and you call us instead of reading <laughs> chapter five. So if you don't read chapter right. five and you call our tech support, then that's cheating. So, so make sure you read chapter five multiple times. It's mandatory, yeah, it's, it's part of the deal. <laughs> and, and the information in there is invaluable in terms of being successful in building the airplane. Perfect. It ain't rocket surgery, but it's important. So there you <laughs> go, so inventory, this is the yeah. backing list. So we'll use the packing list here in a couple minutes and we will go through all of these parts and we will take a look at uh, this and we'll, we'll mark up this to verify that we have everything that we need. Um, yep. You got the pen? The pen. That means you got the power. I was holding it here to hand oh. to somebody. <laughs> because you're, you're gonna do parts. All right, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, who's gonna who's, do it? Who's doing, who's doing paperwork? Oh, yeah, she's organized. <laughs> <laughs> she, she even had a weird look on her face. What? I bestowed the pen to you. So part of the tail kit's not only the horizontal and vertical uh, components, but it's also the tail cone too. I'm gonna guess that this is definitely part of the tail cone. Those are bulkhead, bulkhead. Sections, bulkhead sections to go in the tail cone. Exactly, exactly right. 
Now, something like this, if we can see it, is it prudent just to keep it together, just read it's, it? And it's, then... your, it's your choice. I Personally, I would take it apart. Okay. Um, you know, you, you, until you have shelves to put it on, you know, it's your choice how okay. you want to do it. But you do need to verify that all the parts are actually there, Very good. so where they're nested with each other. Very good. So I think, what, I think what we're going to do is we're going to identify these, and then we're going to build the shelves, and then we'll unwrap them, inspect them, because we'll definitely be able to inspect them well before we assemble them. And that way we're not like scattering everything because yeah, where, we don't where you're at right now, we want to make sure that you don't that you don't uh, that you don't get things too too uh, disconnected, so to speak. Do you remember when you're like seven years old and you got your first plastic model kit and your parents said, "Don't pop out all the pieces"? <laughs> That's exactly. Don't pop out all the pieces. <laughs> all right. Both Greg and Stefan are running over to Harbor Freight and also to our good friend John Fury's house. If you guys don't know, John has actually built a Vans Aircraft RV. He's going to be loaning us a lot of the specialty tools. The tools that are not so specialized, we're going to be getting from Harbor Freight along with a lot of the basics we need to be able to start this project. So I know you guys may be thinking something like, okay, all the pieces are there, they're punched out, but I've never thrown a single rivet. Now comes the opportunity where you guys can actually find out what does it take to be able to build a sub-assembly without having all the concern of maybe ruining a part here on something that's actually going to be flying you in the future. And that's through your light box. Yeah, so we have, we have a few practice kits. But one that's kind of fun that, that you guys got is uh, we call it the light box sign kit. So it's just a big aluminum box with the Vans aircraft logo laser cut out of the face. So you, get, you get to choose how you build that thing completely. So I think what we'll probably do is we'll probably do a couple of um, flush rivets and choose where we want to do those on the box, maybe on the face or something, but maybe then do pop rivets around the rest of it because that's a lot of what y'all are going to be doing is is pop rivets, but you get to choose. You know, we can we can make it however you want. But the cool thing about that is you can build that and finish it all in the same day, usually. And and so you kind of go from beginning to end, and you know, it's it's a day's worth of work in a project. And then you have something cool you can hang on the wall or whatever you want to do with it. So basically, we have a full team here, and along with what you talked about with chapter five and reading here, we're going to basically build one of those light boxes right now, learn the principles of pulling rivets, learning different aspects, the tools we're going to use, we're going to take you along that journey. That way, we know exactly what we're doing and how to approach it with excitement before we dig into this. All right, guys, so while the guys are over here working on this practice project with this new airplane, I want to tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that's our friends over at Muscox. So if you haven't heard of Muscox before, they are a Detroit-based flannel men's clothing company that is all about durable, high-quality flannels that are going to last you a lifetime. They're not only thoughtfully designed with 100% cotton, which you can feel the difference, um, but they're also ethically sourcing their materials to make these awesome flannels. And just like I said earlier, the softness, it is going to be guaranteed the softest flannel that you'll probably ever buy. Now one of the cool things that we really like about Muscox is that they're always giving back. For every $100 sold, Muscox takes $10 and gives back to wildlife conservation. And how they do that is through the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center to support the Muscox and wildlife conservation. And so another reason that I personally love Muscox and just the flannels and the products that they produce is that I'm all about high quality and durable clothing. I'm pretty hard on my clothing, I'm doing a lot of things, running around, I got three kids. So I'm willing to spend the money on quality clothing like this flannel other than like something else that's going to be out or shrink on me in three to four months. It's double brushed, which is fantastic. It's 100% cotton, which I'm a huge fan of. And so then at the end of the day, it's definitely better than any of the other flannels that I put on my body. All right, so here's the best part. This is where you guys come in. If you guys want to support the channel and also get yourself an awesome flannel uh, for yourself, make sure you check out the link in the description below. GoMuscox.com slash flight test and use our code flight test to get $20 off your flannel purchase. Remember, that's gomuscox.com slash flight test. Use the code flight test to get $20 off your flannel purchase. You're not gonna be disappointed. These things are awesome. So make sure you go to gomuscox.com slash flight test, get that awesome coupon code, for 20 bucks off your flannel purchase. You're not gonna be disappointed. Now I gotta get back with the guys to see how they're doing on this practice project. I need to get start. All right, great. So this is our first experience with Vans Aircraft. <laughs> it's a good practice. It's a fun practice kit. Yes. So basically, what do we have here? This is our light box sign kit. So you basically build an aluminum box, and you can sort of choose like the method of construction you want. So you can do solid rivets with like round heads on them, like you know, old old school style. 
button head rivets. You could uh, machine countersink and do, or dimple countersink and do uh, flush rivets, or you can do pull rivets. And you guys are building an RD12, so maybe, maybe we focus on pull rivets. We'll have to do some solid rivets here because we're gonna install some nut plates show you what that is. So this kit comes with all the rivets that you need to do it, which, to build it whichever way you want. Gotcha, so you can get the full experience of how to put the plane together. Yeah, basically. if you're building an RV7 or an RV8 or an RV9 and you want to use all solid rivets, you could, or an RV or whatever. If you're building an RV12 and you want to focus on the pull rivets, you can. For that matter, if you're building an RV12 and you want to focus on solid rivets, you can. You just get to choose. You can mix and match them, whatever you want to do. Awesome, and I mean, even if you don't want to build an airplane, these are available, you can purchase them. Oh correct? yeah, it's just a kit. Yeah, it's easy. So and just and a cool sign. To, to build it, to build just the sign with a kit, really all you need is a ribbon pull. We have these pneumatic ones, but you can even use just a regular squeeze rivet squeezer to, to pull the rivet for the for the blind rivet, and that would work just fine. That's you don't awesome. really you don't really really need tools that way. If you were doing it that way and you really want to do it that way, you could just glue the nut plates on. I think you know we want to make sure there's a few things that you all can learn in the process of building this kit that are important when it comes to building the actual airplane. Things like deburring holes and deburring and prepping the edges of the material and whatnot. Um, it's, you know, there's no, the sign's not going flying, right? It doesn't have those forces on it, but the airplane parts do. And what we're doing there is we're trying to prevent cracks when you have a whole bunch of cycles of, you know, loads on the different materials in the airplane. So it's a good place to practice a lot of the skills and learn them uh, and build something really quick that's kind of cool and and done in a short period of time. So one thing we're gonna be doing because we want lots of people being able to help on this project, we're actually gonna build two light boxes at once. We're gonna definitely utilize Greg's time and his experience to make sure that we're all equipped to be able to pull a proper rivet. We know section five well, and also the cycle of deburring and everything. That's not something we just want one person to know, we want everyone to know. So we're gonna build a couple light boxes. They're gonna be hanging around the shop, it'll be pretty cool. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> Look at what you did, it's pretty. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me I messed it up. <laughs> came out no more <laughs> winning alrighty guys we ended an incredible week here we got some boxes built you know signs a lot of skills along the way Greg we cannot thank you enough for coming down here and spending time not only to educate us but also to help us get started on this project that was fun I, thanks for having me it's been um, I've had a good time now obviously this is a big project. We are going to be doing monthly updates on this whole build project for pretty much the next year, year and a half. Until we bring it all the way up to the conclusion which is the first flight and then at that point we get to use this to bless other people, to inspire them, to fly with them. Now make sure you guys like and subscribe mm -hmm. because there's going to be a lot more cool stuff coming. We'll see you next time. See you next time.